That's Courtney. We're excited to be here tonight, to be part of Ignite Salt Lake. We are here to talk about how to create a better future for the children of Haiti. We are involved with an organization called Zion's Children of Haiti, and uh, we're super excited to be here, like I already said, once, not twice. So for my part of the presentation tonight, I'll be talking about the history of Haiti. I volunteer for the charity Zion's Children of Haiti, and earlier this month, I was able to travel to Haiti, yes, Haiti, for my first time. And for my part of the presentation, I'm going to talk about the future of Haiti. I've been involved with Haiti for the past 14 years. Um, I've been to Haiti three times as a translator, and I also volunteer with the organization Zion's Children of Haiti. The Caribbean island of Hispaniola is shared by Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Haiti was owned by France, and the Dominican Republic was owned by Spain. The European colonists wiped out the indigenous people of the island and shipped in hundreds of thousands of people from Africa to work as slaves. This is Jocelyn. Jocelyn is four years old. His mother passed away two years ago in a car accident. Jocelyn loves to play with stuffed animals, and his education is currently sponsored by a couple living here in Salt Lake City. France built its colony, Haiti, into the richest colony in the world. In the 18th century, the slaves far outnumbered the colonists. They led a revolt and gained their independence. This statue commemorating that revolution is found in Gonaive, Haiti. And this, is, this next slide is Lancita. She's 12 years old, and her education is currently sponsored by a junior high school in Payson, Utah. Her favorite color, as you can see by her shirt, is purple. She hopes to be a math or school teacher someday, and her favorite subject is math. Since becoming a free nation, Haiti has suffered natural disasters, deforestation, foreign occupations, corrupt governments, dictatorships, and genocide. It is now the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. Another student that we sponsor is Jensen. Jensen's eight years old. He enjoys playing soccer. His education is sponsored by Melinda in London, whom some of you may know. Uh, very good, you do know her. Uh, he enjoys playing soccer. His favorite food is rice and beans. Gonaive is a large city on the western coast of Haiti. In 2008, it was battered by successive hurricanes. The roads were destroyed and the town was flooded, and it is yet to recover. Gonaive is the headquarters of our charity. This is our most recently sponsored student. Her name is Lisette. Lisette was found collapsed in the street by one of our Haitian board members. Lisette is a Restavec, which is basically a child slave. She lives as a, as a child slave because her family couldn't afford to take care of her. In January 2010, a major earthquake devastated the capital city of Haiti, Port-au-Prince. It is estimated that 316,000 people were killed, 300,000 were injured, and a million people were left homeless. This group of leaders, including, uh, as Courtney likes to put it, the sexy future mayor of Gonaive. Just look at him. Held this meeting in Gonaive to discuss programs such as Zion's Children of Haiti that could improve their city and the lives of people living there. This is the founder of Zion's Children of Haiti. His goal was to provide access to education. Less than 30% of kids reach the sixth grade and about 50% of all Haitians are illiterate. We currently sponsor the education of 40 students. Within five years, our goal is to sponsor the education of 90 students, provide at least one nutritious meal per day, and cover the basic medical needs of all of the students that we sponsor. In July, we held our second annual HK5K at Sugar House Park. Many of you here tonight were able to join us for that event, either volunteering or racing. Together, we were able to raise over $6,000 for the children of Haiti. Within 10 years, we plan to buy that piece of land right there on which we'll build a school, which will include uh, agricultural education on a working farm, a trade school, a technology center, and English language education. This picture was taken earlier this month at our summer camp in Haiti. Uh, many of our sponsored students and some kids from the community and off the streets were able to come here each day, receive meals, and participate in arts and crafts and other activities. Our motto in English is partnering with Haitians to create a better future for their children. And in Creole, nap travai man nan man pulavi timunyo kapibel. Which translates to working hand in hand to create a more beautiful future for their children. You can go to this website right now to donate $5 real quick. 
Uh, we believe that the children of Haiti are the future of Haiti, and in order to, provo- to provide a better future for them, we need to provide better access to education. We appreciate your time tonight. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to us afterwards. Merci en pile.